38 Havanese Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Havanese is a small toy dog weighing 7 to 13 pounds on average. They stand between 8.5 and, and 11.5 and inches tall at the shoulder, with a slightly longer than tall body. Despite being a toy dog, the Havanese is sturdy and not overly delicate. Number 2. Havanese dogs are well known for their distinctive top line, which gently rises from the withers to the croup or rump, resulting in a straight but not level top line. Number 3. They're also well renowned for their dynamic, eye catching gait achieved through a robust rear drive and a slightly shorter upper arm that gives rise to a springy motion instead of an extensive one. Interestingly, the angle of their top line remains consistent while moving naturally. Number 4. The Havanese features dark brown almond shaped eyes with black pigment around them. Their ears, extending halfway to the nose, arc slightly upward at the base and hang beside the head without touching the face, and their tail is carried arched forward over the back. Number 5. The coat is long, soft, lightweight, and silky with a slight wave. Unlike typical double-coated breeds, the outer coat is soft and light, resembling unrefined silk to the touch, and the undercoat is sometimes completely absent. Number 6. Originating from tropical regions, the Havanese has a lightweight coat designed for sun protection. Despite its look, the coat doesn't offer much warmth, so extra care is needed to protect these dogs from the cold. They're also prone to getting chilled, emphasizing the need for longer coats in winter. Number 7. You might have seen the signature Havanese coat styled in courts, resembling human dreadlocks. What's less known is that creating this unique corded look could be daunting for newcomers, so it's a good idea to seek advice from those familiar with the technique. Number 8. Although there are a few arguments on whether the original Havanese were all white or of different colors, modern Havanese are acceptable in all coat colors and patterns. The AKC, however, only accepts 16 standard colors among the 25 listed on their site, including a range of markings. Number 9. The rarest Havanese color is chocolate. An interesting fact is that while all dogs with various coat colors should display a black nose and black pigment around the eyes, chocolate colored dogs are an exception and may have dark brown pigment on their nose instead. Dead. Number 10. Be wary of the Chavanese. Despite Havanese dogs typically having long hair, occasional short-haired pups can occur. This isn't a new or rare breed, it's just a genetic variation. Short-haired Havanese are great family pets but are not fit for show competitions or breeding as per breed standards, like long-haired Havanese. Number 11. According to the breed standards of both American Kennel Club and Federation Sinologic International, a Havanese can be disqualified from a show event if its height falls below or exceeds the specified minimum or if there's insufficient pigmentation on their nose and eye rims. Number 12. The AKC standard also permits small braids with plain elastic bands to secure head furnishings above each eye, providing a distinctive touch to the Havanese's appearance in show events. Number 13. Although these dogs reach their full size around 6 to 8 months, they only mature at 1 year of age. Throughout this year, Havanese puppies may experience changes in their coat color, which can darken, lighten, or even undergo complete hue shifts. Number 14. Havanese are known for their overall good health and robustness, experiencing relatively few major health concerns. On average, they have a lifespan of 14 to 16 years. Number 15. According to the 2018-2019 Rainbow Bridge Survey report, Havanese have a life expectancy of over 15 years. Notably, spayed puppies lived an average of 60% longer as per the organization's statistics. Number 16. Like any dog, however, Havanese are susceptible to certain health conditions. Common issues include exciting patella, liver diseases, cataracts, and retinal dysplasia. Number 17. Certain individuals might also be prone to conditions like chondrodysplasia, leg perthes disease, deafness, and various cardiological issues. Number 18. Some Havanese dogs might also experience tear staining. These dogs occasionally tear up, leading to brown stains, which can be particularly prominent on white or light coats. Maintaining short fur around the eyes and regular wiping can help prevent these tear stains. Number 19. The Havanese, a Bichon type dog, is the national dog of Cuba and the only native dog of the country. Number 20. Named for the capital city of Cuba, Havana, the Havanese dog was commonly found in the laps of Cuban aristocrats and wealthy residents. Number 21. Originating from the extinct Blaquito de la Habana, also called the Little White Dog of Havana, Havanese dogs are believed to have ancestral ties with the now extinct Bichon Tenerife. The Blanquito interbred with other Bichon types, including poodles, contributing to the creation of the modern Havanese breed. Number 22. The earliest of these Bichon dogs lived on the Spanish island of Tenerife. While some historians have doubts, others firmly assert that this island is the birthplace of all Bichon dogs. Number 23. After Columbus claimed Cuba for Spain in 1942, Spanish settlers brought small companion dogs, ancestors of today's Bichon family. Isolated on the island and restricted by trade limitations, these dogs interbred and gradually developed into the Havanese breed we have today.
Number 24, Havanese dogs were originally bred by Cubans as gifts, not for personal or commercial intentions. Their role was to be presented as gifts to affluent Cubans. Number 25, in Cuba, the presence of a Havanese signified a dedication to important social interactions, occasionally part of business agreements. This explains why Havanese weren't commonly seen on the streets as they held significant cultural value. Number 26, European travelers who visited Cuba grew fond of the breed and introduced Havanese dogs to England, Spain, and France. The breed gained popularity across Europe in the mid-1800s, attracting well-known admirers such as Queen Victoria and Charles Dickens. Number 27, the Havanese faced near extinction once, even in Cuba. In 1959's Cuban Revolution, some affluent Cubans and individuals targeted by communists fled to the U.S., bringing their dogs with them. American breeders grew intrigued by this rare, charming breed in the 1970s, despite a U.S. gene pool of only 11 dogs. Consequently, the American Kennel Club officially recognized the Havanese as a toy breed in 1996. Number 28, thanks to devoted breeding and the addition of new dogs from around the world, the Havanese has experienced a remarkable resurgence, becoming one of the most rapidly expanding dog breeds within the AKC. In the AKC's 2022 list of the most popular dog breeds, the Havanese held the 25th spot among 199 breeds in terms of popularity in the United States. Number 29, Havanese puppies can come with a significant price tag. Typically, the average purebred Havanese puppy costs between $1,000 and $1,500, which is notably higher compared to most toy breeds. Occasionally, if they're deemed show quality, these dogs might even fetch prices as high as $2,500. Number 30, the Havanese dogs are known by various other names. These include Havanese Cuban Bichon, Bichon Havanese, Havaneser, and Bichon Habanero. Number 31, they're also occasionally called the Havana Silk Dog, but this actually refers to a distinct breed bred to conform the original Cuban standard. It's also important not to mistake these two breeds. Number 32, Havana Silk Dogs are different from the Havanese, as they possess straighter forelegs, a flatter and silkier coat, a longer muzzle, and smaller ears. The Havanese Silk was bred to replicate other depictions of the breed based on artworks, sculptures, and written accounts from Cuba. Number 33, the Havana Silk, however, is indistinguished as a separate breed by the American Kennel Club, and numerous Havana Silk Dogs are registered with the AKC under the name Havanese. The Havana Silk Dog Association of America is currently not pursuing AKC registration by the breed. Number 34, Havanese dogs are recognized for developing highly affectionate bonds with their loved ones. They've also earned the nickname Velcro dogs due to their tendency to follow household members closely, even into places like the washroom. Number 35, thanks to their friendly and easily trainable temperament, Havanese dogs are employed in various public-facing roles. These include working as therapy dogs, assistance dogs for the impaired, performing dogs, and as well as mold and termite detection and tracking dogs. Number 36, with their inherent playful demeanor and charming charisma, the Havanese possesses a natural clownish behavior that also makes them a superb choice for circus performers. Number 37, Havanese dogs also engage in a range of dog sports, including dog agility, fly ball, musical canine freestyle, and obedience training. Number 38, Havanese are sought after by celebrities owing to their history as companion dogs for the privileged. Notable personalities like Venus Williams, Joan Rivers, Queen Anne, Barbara Walters, Ernest Hemingway, and Charles Dickens have all chosen to own Havanese dogs. Alright guys, which of these Havanese facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.